my name is Rob and I'm the chef here at Simple Things in Los Angeles. Uh, we're a gourmet sandwich and pie shop. Uh, today we've got a few recipes we're going to do for you, starting out with a portobello mushroom pot pie. So we've got a couple of simple ingredients here. We're going to start out by sauteing some portobello mushrooms in a nice hot pan over here just to get them nice and dark and release their earthy flavor. A little bit of olive oil into the pan here. There's a, a rough chunky dice on these portobello mushrooms. Put these in that hot pot. You don't want to stir them around too much. You want them to be able to sit on the bottom and brown up nice and quickly. So once they're sauteing off, I'll take you through the other ingredients we've got here. We're going to take those mushrooms out of the pot and put some yellow onion in there to soften that up. And we're going to add a little bit of garlic at the end once that's come out. And then we're going to get some diced Yukon Gold potatoes. And once that's all nice and composed in the pan there, we're going to hit it with a little bit of heavy cream and finish it off with some sage. So they're just starting to brown up now. They'll take about four minutes on a nice medium to high heat there. You can season them up with a little bit of salt and pepper now that they've started to release a little bit of the moisture. They're nice and brown now. And then it's on to step two. We'll keep the pan over a high heat now and we'll make use of this residue from the mushroom. We'll put a little bit more oil in there and we're gonna saute out our Yukon Gold potatoes until they're just lightly brown on the outside. Our oil sizzling away. Again, you don't want to add the salt at the beginning here because salt draws moisture out of the potatoes and they won't seal as hard and crispy if you're drawing moisture out right now. You want them dry on the outside to seal up nice and hard and then we can season them afterwards. Okay, so we've just softened the outside of our Yukon Gold potatoes and we can put them in the pot with our mushrooms. And for a third time, just a little olive oil in there. And we can add our yellow onion to the mix. Now, when you're cooking onions out, you want to do it nice and long and slow if they're for a braise or a wet kind of dish because you want to develop the sugars in there and you don't want a bitter onion. You want the, the nice sweetness and the soft texture in there. So our onions are nice and translucent and slightly browned now. And it's time to add a few cloves of garlic. It's very important when you're cooking garlic, just like onions should be cooked nice and slow. When you add the garlic, you should cook it very briefly. Use your nose to let you know when it's ready. You'll smell it, it'll be a big garlic flavor, and that's when you remove it from the heat or add your liquids to the dish. So our garlic is nice and aromatic now. It's time to add the rest of our ingredients back in. And now it's time to add some extra flavorings. We've got a little bit of hot sauce to give it just a little bit of back end kick. A few teaspoons of soy sauce, which you're gonna aid with that heavy umami mushroom depth. And to briefly let them absorb into the other ingredients. It's nice and shiny and sizzling and it's quite dry in the bottom there. There's no extra moisture being bled out. So now we add our heavy cream. We'll let, let that come to the boil for about a minute and a half, just so the potatoes can start to absorb a bit of the cream. And you begin to get an idea for the texture of the sauce in your pie. And then we add the, the magical ingredient. It's the second last thing that goes in, so it's one of the first flavors you're gonna taste. And the cheese we'll be using today is the Tillamook Vintage White Smoked Extra Sharp Cheddar Cheese. And as the cheese goes in, we'll take it off the heat and just fold it in there to incorporate and melt down. It's important not to boil the cream and the cheese together because the fats might separate and split and then you don't have a nice smooth sauce. Our final ingredient for the very last note 
is a good amount of freshly chopped marjoram leaves. And we always just do a final taste test for seasoning. A little bit of salt and pepper can make a world of difference at the end of a dish. That's pretty good as it is. Transfer it to a tray. We'll put it in the refrigerator to cool down for about 40 minutes and we'll get to filling our pie crusts now. Okay, now that our mushroom pie filling has cooled down to a sufficient temperature, we're gonna line a seven inch pot pie tin here with our homemade pot pie crust. Uh, you guys can definitely buy your own from the market. Uh, we roll it out to about an eighth of an inch thick. If you can see your hand through there, it's a little bit too thin. So just before you can see your hand through there, simply drop the pie crust into the tin and we'll take just under a cup of filling. You want it to be just over the height of the sides there. So we get a nice shape out of the pie. And then with the second part, we roll the lid out there a little bit smaller place that on the top and the simple technique for rolling and folding the edges. So grab the bottom one and roll it straight towards the top. And a straight line there. And once you get to the edge of the tin, we pinch and now it's called the roll and pinch. So continue rolling over one, two, pinch it on the next one roll it, pinch it, roll it, pinch it, and I'm gathering it up from here as I come around. So roll it over, push it down there, and then bring that finger across to pinch. And I just bring the edges up a little bit to make it nice and high. Very important, we must first cut a little air vent in the top of it or else you'll have an exploding pie in the oven. Ready for the oven, which has been preheated at 425 degrees, and that will go in for 10 minutes, we're gonna bring it out and put some egg wash on the outside and then put it back in for another 10 minutes, but we're gonna drop the temperature down to 350. At Simple Things, we serve this with a arugula salad dressed with a balsamic vinaigrette, a few grape tomatoes, and we top it off with a nice cheesy bechamel sauce. So here's the Simple Things portobello mushroom pie with Tillamook vintage white smoked extra sharp cheddar and a side of balsamic greens. Mm -hmm.